Yo, what's going on guys and welcome to some NHL 16, something you guys have never seen in the channel before, but you guys know I love career modes and we're going to go ahead and hop into the be a pro mode. Now I was pretty surprised with how well you can actually customize your player. Now it's nothing like NBA Live where you can actually scan your face, but it's definitely a lot more with Madden. There was dozens of different heads you can choose from. There's different hairstyles. You can actually choose the length of your beard. Here's my actual playoff beard. You can make it shorter. You can make it longer. Now you guys know how things work. When you're in the playoffs, you got to grow that beard out, whether it's baseball or hockey. Here's my current beard length. Got to keep it clean, you know, for all the photo shoots after the game. And also, you can customize pretty much everything when it comes to equipment, whether it's your helmet, all the way down to the color of your laces so I was definitely enjoying that now I decided to go ahead and start my career on the Hamilton Bulldogs from my understanding I'm gonna play five games with this team and then we're headed to the NHL draft now this is like the pre-game thing you guys see the presentation definitely looking pretty good so here we are jumping into our first game as a Bulldog now I am a center which means I'm almost like a point guard I'm gonna be making plays trying to set up my teammates that pass right there definitely get away from me, but we are going to end up finishing with the assist. You guys see my teammate made a great pass to me. I went for the shot, ends up deflecting off the goalie, and we're going to take a 1-0 lead. Now we are going to skip ahead to 12 minutes remaining in the first period. The score is now 2-2. You guys see me showing off some of those stick skills, but the goalie was there to come up with the stops. So here we are now in the second period. I get the puck, I'm looking to take a shot, and I'm going to end up drawing the penalty. Now this is a delayed penalty, so we're still looking to attack. I end up passing it off to defender Skate, but we are going to end up getting a quick shot in there. But he's just going to end up holding that one for the faceoff. Now later on, we are now on the power play, and I do come up with the block pass. Here we are looking to attack, man. We got a three-on-two break here, so we're definitely looking to finish. And I'm going to end up scoring my first goal I was actually thinking about passing that one but I ended up taking the shot and it deflected off the defender right into the goal to give us a 3-2 lead in the second period now in be a pro you definitely do sub out a lot you guys see me just getting back in there and I definitely timed that one wrong but look at this all of a sudden this guy out of nowhere cheap shots me and we got a fight on our hands now I had no idea what I was doing at first you guys see this guy's, you know, kind of giving it to me, but I decided to get my Mike Tyson on. I'm not going to say Floyd Mayweather because there just isn't this many punches in a Floyd Mayweather fight. Now, we would end up winning it. That's going to give me 125 XP, but also the big part about winning fights is your teammates gain energy. Now, I would get sent to the penalty box for fighting. So here we are in the third period. Once again, on another power play, up 4-2. And we're looking to get another goal here. And I am going to end up finishing once again for my second goal of the game. Now, honestly, I didn't even try scoring that one. You guys are going to get another look at it. My teammate went ahead, man, took the slap shot. All I did was stick my stick out there and end up deflecting right underneath the goalie's leg. So that would give us a 5-2 lead. And just like that, I have two goals and an assist in my first game. So hopefully the scouts are watching this one now right here, man. Just beautiful passing by my teammates. I would end up getting another assist. That's going to put us up 6-2. to two, And that would be it for game number one. I would finish with two goals and three assists. Now, since we are only playing five games, it's my goal to play as well as possible every chance I get. He wanted me to get 2,000 XP in the first two games. Well, in game number one, we got 1,600 so in game number two, he's only asking us to get 412 XP. And he says if you meet that goal, chances are you're going to do well in the draft. Now 412 XP, that seems like a cakewalk. I'm going for 1600, maybe even 2000 in this game. The big thing I want to prove on is my team play. Now my team play is going to be passing. It's going to be winning faceoffs. It's going to be playing defense. And right now my team play is a bit below average now here we are on the attack after playing some good defense and that shot right there is going to go right above the post but my teammate is going to end up finishing this one off and I am going to get credit for yet another assist so just like that already a minute and a half into this game and we are up one to nothing now later off in the first period you guys see I lose a face off now that's probably my biggest weakness and to make things even worse they're going to knock this game up at one apiece after I lose that face off. So here they are on the attack once again. But you guys see me just laying that man out. 
getting some XP for the big hit. And here I am, man, looking to finish this one off. Now, I am going to end up missing the shot. But my teammate's going to end up scooping this one up. And he's going to set me up to set my teammate up for my second assist of the game. Now, let's take another look at that big hit. I came over, man. He did not see it coming. And we just laid him out. Here's one more look at it, man. Ouch. That's all I'm going to say. He's going to be feeling that one tomorrow to make things even better. The crowd is loving it. Those guys right there, man, acting a fool, banging on the glass. So skipping ahead to the third period, we find ourselves up 5-3. to three, And we find ourselves losing yet another faceoff and them taking advantage of it. So that's definitely something I need to improve on before I get into the NHL draft. That's something that could make me drop from being a first-round pick to like a third round pick so up five to four now i'm gonna go ahead and end up passing it to my teammate i probably should have took a shot there but we're playing sloppy right now so i'm gonna slow things down act like i'm going behind the net and end up setting up my teammate for my third assist of the game now that's actually the third assist you guys have seen to be honest that may be like number four or five at this point so up six to four and on the power play I'm looking to play aggressive. I'm looking to get another assist, maybe another goal, and make things 7-4. to four. Not only do I want to play well, I want to make sure we go 5-0 and oh in this period. And they just had two little defenders on the ice. We had a 3-on-2 there, and we do end up scoring off my assist. So it's going to make things 7-4. to four. You guys can see the fans are throwing their hats onto the ice because that man does have a hat trick in this game. We would end up winning this game by a final score of 8 to four definitely a lot of scoring going on also guys since i am new to nhl if you guys have any advice for me not only about playing but about the videos please leave it in the comment section down below if you guys are ready for the next episode be sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you guys for all the support i'm tita presents peace out